Hey everybody! Hope everybody's having a great day. It is hot here in Alabama, let me tell y'all. Lord have mercy, is it hot. I like just went outside to feed the ducks. Pouring sweat, ugh, hot. I think it got over 100 today here, and with the humidity, no telling how hot it is. I am officially ready for fall. Anyways, it's gonna come at y'all today. I'm gonna show y'all my thrift store haul. I love to thrift store shop. Like this shirt I got on, 50 cents a couple weeks ago to thrift store. Absolutely love to thrift store. But I wanted to show y'all what I got today. First of all, how cute is this? This is like real wood. It's thick. I'm trying to remember what I paid for this. It wasn't much. I'm going to have a sticker guy off of it. But I think it was $3.50. It was either $3.50 or $4.50 for this. And it's thick. And isn't it just cute? It's going to be cute standing up somewhere in my house. I loved it. So that was either $3.50 or $4.50. Sticker came off, so I'm not sure. Um, I got... Now, this is going to seem expensive to y'all. I paid $17.50 for this. It has all the attachments. It is a KitchenAid mixer. But if you buy one of these new, they are outrageous. But I've already got one. Well, actually, I've got two. But I bought this one. So if the girls ever come over, my daughters and my daughter-in-law ever come to cook Thanksgiving dinner with me or cookies or something, we have three of them that we can be making mixes with. But they are the most wonderful mixers. And what I like about KitchenAid, if something tears up on their product, all you got to do is call them. I had a blender that messed up. The gears stripped in it because it had a plastic, uh, what the blade turns on, the bottom component of it was plastic. And the piece that turned it was metal. And it stripped it. Called KitchenAid. They sent me a whole brand new one. So, I love KitchenAid products. So, that that's more than I would normally spend on something. But I know what kind of product this is. And I know how expensive these are brand new. So, that's probably a third of what it costs brand new. And I love the little yellow color. Because both of mine, I think, are silver. But I thought that was cute. Then I got this cute little bunny. Which was probably only a quarter of 50 cents. It's got the beans in the bottom. I can't wait to put this out at... Easter time, with like next to a basket or something full of eggs. Is it not the cutest? I'll probably put a little ribbon on him. He is so cute. Couldn't pass him up. He was too cute. Um, let's see. Got my grandbaby a pair of pants. Oh, here. There's my tag. I can tell you how much I paid for that board. No, you don't have it separated up. I found this. I was so excited. I collect Longenberger. Look what they had in one of the huge long burger baskets it looks brand new i got this for 15 dollars, and y'all know for long burger that's cheap absolutely this was my favorite find of the whole day i was so excited this will be so cute with quilts in it or lord the possibilities are endless but it's huge 15 dollars, super cheap okay let's see now the other thrift store, now this was a different thrift store, but the other thrift store I went to today, everything was half off. So, this is a bird food feeder that you put the bird food in. It looks brand new. It's never been used. It was listed for $3, so I got it for $1.50. I don't know what this would be new, but I know it's a whole lot more than $1.50. So, I'm super excited about that. But it's got the holes in it so that the rain will go straight through and it won't make your food melt that you put in there. I was so tickled to find that. $1.50. That's super cheap. I found this. It is a twin quilt with two shams. Very nice. And it's like a really light pink color. I got it for $4. I got an upcoming project y'all are going to see that I'm doing with this and y'all are going to love it. So, twin quilt, two shams, four bucks. All right, I got more. I got this for 50 cents, Halloween's coming. Now, last year I ordered one of these off Amazon. It was the same size and I think I paid about 20 bucks for it off Amazon because I was wanting to make the, where you get the little diffuser and you make the smoke come out. 
with the bubbles and that's probably what I'll do with this. So I'll have another video later on on this. And it's not no disco room up in here. We gotta fix our light. I think the ballast, I think is what you call it, ballast, ballast is going out. So it constantly looks like a spook house in here. It's on the list to fix y'all. But anyways, 50 cents for this cute little cauldron. That was a good deal. Cause everything was half off. I don't know what I paid for these. It was probably like a quarter, but I'm gonna put these in my sewing room. Do something with them, I'll, some project with them. It's hard to pass up the pearls. Now I got this for my mama. $1.50. Isn't that a beautiful turkey plate? $1.50. So that's my mama's. All right. Look at this enamelware thing I got. $2.50. I got a cute little upcoming project. It's already got the hole if I decided to hang it on the wall. But I got a cute little project I'm going to do with this. And for an antique, that's cheap. I got this whole bag of goodies, sewing room goodies, for two bucks. I want y'all to look at all those DMC threads in there. DMC threads. You know what? Let's just open this up and see what's in here. Cause I don't even know. I grabbed it for the DMC threads. Let's just look together and see what I got. This is a little magnetic plate. Magnetic ruler. I don't know. I'll come up with something to put, somewhere to put it. I got a thing of thread, uh, yarn. I got seed beads. This is like Christmas. This is a jar lid. Looks like when you can put a cross stitch picture in or something. Ooh, I got the DMC holders that you put your DMC thread. You wrap it around there. Oh, I didn't even know these were in here. Look at all the little hoops. I didn't have any this size. Awesome. I got one, two, three. Three little hoops. Cute. And then I got this blue hoop, which has the squeezy thing. Oop, undid it. Another jar lid. Then I got some materials. Oh, how cute. Old school materials, but they're still cute. It's like teddy bears. That's a pretty good bit of material. And then this looks like you could make it and match a quilt, make a quilt or something out of it. You can never have too much material. And y'all, look at all these DMC threads. I'm gonna sit here and try to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 50, 60. There's probably 40 in here or more. 40 DMC threads, probably. And then I got all these jar lids, red jar lids. So, four bucks was the original price. I got that entire bag of stuff I just showed you for $2. Super cheap. All right. I got some little panties for my grandbabies. Y'all know these are expensive. I don't know what I paid for them. Probably a 25 cents to 50 cents. I knew it wasn't much. And then of course I found some cute clothes for my grandbabies. I got this cute nightgown for $1.50. Looks brand new. I got this cute shirt for my oldest grandbaby for $1. So she'll be ready when St. Patrick's Day comes. I got this one for my oldest grandson. It's a Ralph Lauren for a dollar fifty. If y'all can see, it's a Ralph Lauren. Isn't that cute. I got this cute little shirt for a dollar fifty. It's a Southern America crown and ivy. Isn't that cute. I got this one for my oldest grandbaby. It was a dollar fifty. They had a lot in her section today. She loves Stitch. Got her this cute little undershirt for a dollar. It looks brand new. It don't even look like it's ever been worn. And then I got me this cute top for two bucks. It's that real soft material. 
to go with like underneath my church stuff. It's got the cute little square neck. It's really pretty. So that was a good deal. And then I got a bag of miscellaneous buttons for my sewing room for 50 cents, which is cheap for buttons. All right, let's see what else I got. I get so excited over my thrift store finds. Okay, this whole bag of stuff was half off too. I got this dress for $2. This cute little Christmas dress, two bucks. That cute. I got this. There's a lid in here. Let me get this out and I'll show it to y'all with the lid. I got this top for my youngest granddaughter for $1.50 for Christmas time. Let me show that to y'all. Ain't that cute? Got the cute little Christmas tree on it. And I got this for my sewing room for five bucks. I collect teapots. I love them. I got a Toy Story Jessica doll with the hat. This is vintage. I don't know what this thing's actually worth. It's no telling. Yeah, that's how I felt about my thrift store haul. It works great. I don't remember how much she was, but whatever she was, I got her half off. This might have been her price here. No, she went in two bucks. I don't remember how much Jessica was, but she was half off, so I was willing to pay whatever it was. But yeah, she's going to go in my Toy Story bathroom. And I'll do a video of that if y'all want to see it sometime, of how I decorated my bathroom in our game room down here for my grandbabies. I did it in Toy Story. Got this beautiful doily. For 50 cents. Isn't that pretty? 50 cents. I got this brand new journal book for a dollar. It's brand new. Never been used. Well worth it. A buck. And I got a brand new bandana for 50 cents. Orange. When I bought it, the little girl said, that says vodka on it. I said, it don't matter because I'm going to wrap it up, put it in my hair. I said, you ain't going to see the words. You're just going to see the color. But I didn't care that it had vodka. I really don't know. Let me see what this says. I'm, I'm tempted to see what it says. Let's see what I really bought here. Ooh, it's soft. Oh, yeah, we got some moonshine looking stuff going on on it. It says Tito's Handmade Vodka. <laughs> it's all good because once I fold it over and then I roll it up ain't nobody going to know what it says because that's how I wear them and all they're going to see is the tippy top of it and then you can't even tell I'll show y'all that hairstyle sometime this is a different one I do this a little different with these but I just love wearing the bandanas I love it so I got all that for me and then I got this beautiful picture I gotta look up the value of it. I don't even know. I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to ruin it. I was going to ruin it, but I don't think I can. Let me show y'all. I don't know where Cane Creek Mill is. I'm gonna research it and see. I got this picture over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. I hope you can. It's really pretty. I got it for five bucks, framed and all. And on the back of it, it says Cane Creek Mill by Larry P. Johnson. And it is signed by him over here and numbered. It's 64 out of 200. I bought it because it looked spooky. It looked, let me show y'all real quick. It looked like I was going to do one of those ghost paintings where you add ghosts to it. I can't bring myself to mess it up. I just don't know. I'm seriously considering putting it in my bedroom, maybe. I just can't bring myself to mess it up if it's numbered. I don't know. I might just check the value out. Wouldn't that be nice if I got one of those real expensive paintings and didn't know it? All right. I want to show y'all my stack of pillows so I don't have to pick them all up. Y'all see how these pillows... Like here's the purple one. I got all these anywhere from $1.50 to two bucks. 
Um, I do memory pillows, and these are all feather. Every one of them is the real nice feather, and you can just unzip these covers, take them off, and you've got a nice pillow underneath. And I do memory pillows for people, so I bought a bunch of them up so I'd have them until somebody gets ready for me to do their memory pillows because pillows are real, real expensive to go buy at the thrift stores. I'm talking about super, super expensive. All right, this is not my haul. This is mom's haul. So I called my mom up, FaceTimed her, and she wanted these. So cute little teacups. I think these were $2.50 a piece. They got little, little plates that go with them. I'll show y'all one of the plates once we get down here. Look at this little chamber pot. It's antique. I got it for $2.50 for Mama. $2.50. Is that not cute? And then I got... These are the little plates that go with the teacups. Anyways, I got her the chamber pot and all the teacups for 11 bucks. You're going to pay more than that for this, tea, this chamber pot at an antique store. So, she got a deal on that. So, she'll really like it. But, oh, and one more thing. I got one more thing. Is this not the cutest shelf ever? Look at it on the side. Ain't that pretty? And I got it for $5.50. I think I'm going to put it in my bedroom. But I'm super excited about it. Anyways... I wanted to come at y'all, show you my thrift store haul. I did great today. Again, my Longenberger basket. Y'all know that's my favorite. I am a lover of the Longenberger baskets. Super, super excited about it. Can't wait to see how I'm going to decorate it. I may show y'all what I do. I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to show y'all my thrift store haul. Um, I'm a crazy thrift store girl. Love the thrift store. Tell me what y'all got. What have y'all found lately in the comments? Let me know. Have y'all found any great deals lately? Because I sure did today, and I was super excited. Y'all have a great day.